Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. So in this tutorial, what we'll be going through is another exam question. And this is more of like a shape, trapezium, kind of trig uh, question where you need to do a bit of thinking to get to the answer. And because you can see, look at the, there's five marks in this question, which means there's a bit of steps that needs to be done to get to the answer. So what I would say first is try and do this question. It doesn't matter if you're wrong. Okay, try it and see what kind of methods you can use. And then once you feel like you've done it and you've given it your all, play this video again and then see if you got the answer right and as well if you have the method right. Okay, and again, if you have any questions or any kind of doubts as I'm going over through these step by step, you know, feel free to comment down and uh, I will reply back to you. So let's get straight to this question. The question is asking us A, B, C, D is a trapezium. So this whole shape is a trapezium. And the question is asking us, work out the size of the angle CDA, give your answer correct to one decimal place. So my angle CDA, if I use, okay, let's use a different color. If my angle CDA is basically going to be CDA, so it's going to be the letter that's in the middle, which is my angle. And I'm just going to label this as theta. Okay, so remember, when you have CDA, the letter that's in the middle is the angle that you want. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do as well is what I'm because this is a trapezium and we need to find this angle. I'm going to first split this trapezium into a rectangle and two triangles. As you can see here, this has been this is a triangle in itself already, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this again. So what I will have is you can see now you have a rectangle and then you have another triangle, right? A 90 degrees triangle. And I will explain, I'm going to give you a quick high level of what I'm going to do and then I'm going to show you the steps. So basically what I'm going to do is for me to find this angle, I need to know this length or this length or this length. But I need at least two lengths of this triangle, right? Because or else I can't find the angle using the trig Sokatoa. So that's where I'm, the method I'm going to use is Sokatoa. But for me to use Sokatoa for, to get this angle, I need e two lengths, either the hypotenuse or the opposite, or the opposite, or adjacent, or the adjacent and hypotenuse. I need two lengths to get the angle. So the question is now we need to first reverse engineer and work out our lengths. Now we know that this is a rectangle, right? So if this is six centimeters, can I not say that this is also six centimeters, right? Because it's a rectangle. Now, the other way, the well, that's the first step. Now, the other length that I need to find is either my hypotenuse or my adjacent but I can find my adjacent here. Why? Because if you look at this whole shape here, or this whole length, sorry, it's 24 centimeters. Now, can I not find this length, right? So I'll label this as, whoops, I will label this as X. So if I find this length, I also know what this length is. What is this length of uh, this rectangle? If you look at the top, 10 centimeters, right? So this is 10 centimeters. If I know this length, 10 centimeters, and then I find this length as well, if I add these two together and then take away from 24, would I not be able to get this length? And then what you'll see is you have two lengths and then you can use trig. Okay? So I will explain this. I know I'm kind of waffling here, but I'll show you now what I'm going to do and the method. So my step one that I'm going to do, step one, I'm going to, okay, uh, Let's use red. I'm going to look at the triangle one. So I'm going to kind of sh um, label this a triangle one. Okay. So uh, how can we do this? Uh, might as well put in red, I guess. Okay. Let's put red. So triangle one and triangle one. Okay. So I'm going to take the triangle one. So what I mean by that is if I quickly draw this triangle, I have here six centimeters and I have 7.5 centimeters and I want to find X okay so th I'm taking this triangle here just so that you can see what I'm doing now the question is how do I find X in a right angle triangle and the answer to that is the method that I'm going to use is Pythagoras theorem right Pythagoras theorem is H squared is equals to a squared plus B squared or I guess now you guys use C squared I think it really doesn't matter now my hypotenuse in this triangle is 7.5 so I'm going to have 7.5 squared equals it doesn't matter which one is A or B so I'm going to put A as 6 so it's going to be 6 squared and my B is going to be X and X is what I'm going to find but because it's B squared it's going to be X squared now if I rearrange this to get X as the subject so I'll have X squared I'm going to move this 6 squared to the other side so it's going to be 7.5 squared minus 6.5 squared. 
okay and if you want to find x remember what you do you square root the whole thing so if you square root 7.5 squared minus 6.5 squared and then if you put that in your calculator what you should get is 4.5 so x is 4.5 centimeters okay and now if I look at okay I should really say step one so that was my triangle one right but I'll just put this as step one here now if I look at step if I do step two okay so if I take step two now what I'm going to do is because now I found this x length which is 4.5 I'm going to first do 4.5 centimeters plus 10 centimeters okay which is equals to 14.5 right because I want to find this length here so I'm going to do 24 centimeters the whole length 24 minus this length this total length here because then I will be left with this length here so it's 24 minus 14.5 and that will give you 9.5 centimeters so if I label that here now this length well that's definitely not a straight line but okay this length if you like now is 9.5 centimeters and if we look at triangle 3 now if we take triangle 3 right oh no I should say triangle 2 really where did because there's no 2 so if I look at triangle 2 right so let me put triangle 2 here and use triangle 2 and if I draw that again here, again, you don't need to do this in the exam, the drawing triangles again. I'm just showing you so you kind of see what it is that I'm doing and what I'm referring to. But you don't need to do that. So this is theta, right? And then this length now is 9.5. And then this opposite is 6. Can you see now in this triangle, we have two lengths and we want to find the angle, right? Can you see now we have two lengths? So this is my step three. So now the question is, which Sokatoa rule do I use? Now, if you've forgotten Sokatoa, I'll just quickly write it here. So, ka toa. Okay? And if you look at this triangle, you have an opposite and then you have an adjacent. Which out of these three, the sine, cos, and tan, has both the opposite and adjacent? Have you guys got it? It's the tan because you can see you've got opposite and adjacent. So, what I'm going to do now, very simply, I'm going, my formula first for the tan theta is tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. My tan theta is just going to be theta because we labeled the angle as theta. And remember, that's the angle that we want to find. My opposite is 6. And my, remember, opposite is always the length opposite the angle that you're looking at. Okay? So be very careful there. And my adjacent is 9.5. So now to find my theta, all I do is inverse tan. So inverse tan basically means in your calculator, press shift and then press tan and then you get this tan minus 1. Inverse tan of 6 over 9.5. And then basically your theta, so this will give you, if you put that in your calculator, 32 point, uh, was it 32.2756. But remember the question is saying give it to one decimal place. So we need to put this to one decimal place one decimal place so that's going to be the one decimal place means one value after the decimal point which is 32.2 but because there's a seven here we have to round the two up so that's going to be 32.3 degrees and that's the answer for this question um and this is pretty much how you do it in three steps right um again if there's anything that you you know i hope that this has made you know you understand now what's happening and if you did get this right and you got the answer well done and just make sure you look at the method as well okay but if there's any doubts that you still have after this just put it down in the comments and i'll reply back to you guys okay so um that will be a wrap for this video and also yes i know some students have been asking me to do certain topics as well and i will be doing them just bear with me um i will i will be doing those topics as well okay and uh, i'll show you on the next one